Wimbledon is here, as behind me, I've done the single stripes. If you want stripes like this on your lawn, stay with me and I'll show you how I do it. Throughout history, men have always been drawn to grass. Whether it be in the park, a sports ground, or simply in your own garden, there's just something about those quintessential British stripes that makes you want them for yourself. Not to mention getting one over on your neighbours. Follow Daniel on his lawn journeys in his step-by-step -step videos this year whilst you create your own lawn journey, achieving that dream lawn you have always wanted with simple and easy to follow methods. The lawn you have always dreamed of is only a grass seed away. Now sit back and enjoy the video. Oh, and one more thing. If you want to subscribe, you know what to do. Hello, it's Monday the 27th of June. Sorry, I've been away for a while. I've been busy watering. It's been an absolute dreadful last two weeks. It's been so dry. I just haven't found the time to film while we've been watering all the lawns we've fed. So we're 12 days on from the application. It's greened up really nice, looking nice deep green. So today what I'm going to do is, what we didn't get on with last time because uh, I didn't have it with me and my scarifier broke, we're going to give it a vertical today with the Alert cartridge. So you can see behind me, I've just been uh, busy this morning already. I've cut it with the rotary first, I've cut it with a cylinder and I've just been having a play with the lines up there as to how deep my scarifier is and I'm actually on the lowest setting, um, sorry with the vertical cutting cassette. So we'll go over that now up and down and then we'll see how it looks after. Alright, so that went really well, really took a lot of stuff out, oh, bit of everything, bit of grass, bit of necrotic growth, bit of leaves and everything like that. Why are we doing this? Because you've got to remember is when we're feeding, we're also regenerating new growth, so we need to remove the old stuff to let room for the new stuff to come through, because otherwise it's just going to get too thick. So we should be doing this regular really, and hopefully from now on, now I've got it in my van, we can continue to do that but not as harsh we did it harsh today but going forward we do it once a week maybe we can just tickle it and just keep removing them bits and bobs as we go so what i'm going to do now is i'm going with the rotary pick up what the um box hasn't picked up because what happens is because there's not a lot of power being generated with the alert it doesn't fling it into the back of the box it does it first but then it, it seems to fall forward and just sit at this end and then what happens is it falls out as you're going down. Now I could have emptied it, I guess. That's just being lazy. So it's not Alex's fault, it's not the box's fault. That's just my fault being lazy. So because of that, I'll go on with the rotary again. And then we'll go on with the cylinder. Because what we've also done is, because we've vertical it, we've lifted those grass edges up as well, which are going to be nice and uh, easy to cut. And also last time we wanted to do that because we wanted to get rid of the, um, the grass that was going into reproductive mode and getting the seed shoots on. So hopefully we've got rid of all those as well and if we haven't they're stood up on end and the rotary can nip those so let's get on with it All right, so looking pretty good. What I did was I went over the with the rotary on three, on number three setting. Uh, but it didn't quite take enough off, although it did pick up what I needed. And then I went over on two, as you saw in the time lapse. And then I just finished off with the cylinder a bit shorter. So now we're looking really good. We're really getting those Wimbledon stripes because it's the first day today. I always like to do uh, something that uh, pays homage to the, those stripes. And today we're doing that. So, so far, so good. What I'm going to do now is just because the wind's dropped a little bit, and it's not had it in this year and I really want to show what it can do. I'm going to spray some galactic green on and then we'll have a visit back in a few days and we'll see how it looks. So let's crack on with that.
Okay, so that's the galactic green on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to head over to Farmer Britain's Best Lawn. I'm going to do the same there because that is ready now for a vertical. And what I'm going to also do is in a second, I'm just going to show you what's going on on the other side. There's nothing to worry about. What I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to balance it up a little bit. The seed of the new bit has come through. And it's been through quite a while and the feed is wearing off on the older side so what i'm trying to do is balance it up so that when i feed we get a more consistent color so i'll show you that now then we'll head over to britain's best lawn okay so this side's looking half decent as well i've just come today and it was covered like that in all those leaves just because of the high winds we've had over the weekend so you can see what i mean when i say that the this new lawn, there's still quite a bit of a difference. It doesn't pick it up the same on the camera, but you see there the line, because this has had uh, equally been early on in the year, and that's had nothing yet. So this is uh, just coming through. Really impressed with the field compost from the Norfolk company. And this is just now, needs one final pick of annual meadow grass, because there's still quite a little bit in there. Same on this side. And then we'll give it a feed, we'll give it a vertical or a scarify. I'm hoping to scarify actually. But I'm just waiting for my ye old faithful to come back from the repair shop. Hopefully that should be this week. And then we can crack on with this side and get it balanced up. And then this new seed can come up. And if we have a look closely, it's just, you can see it just needs a good feed. But because we've not fed it with any top growth, it's been able to concentrate all its energy into putting roots in. And it's really, you know, I cannot move that. I'm pulling that with all my might. And it's just not moving. So. There is a method in the madness as well. So let's head over to Keith's and we'll see you there. So I've just called back. It's getting up for seven o'clock and you can see the galactics already set to kick in. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Give it a bit of a water and then this will look even better. So we're back at Farmer Britain's Best Lawn, six weeks after we did our renovations. And I must say it's looking absolutely fantastic, really lush. What I did was last week, I went on with the Equinox HD just because the new seed was so hungry, it just zapped out the equilibrium straight away and was uh, going a bit yellow. So I put that on on Thursday, watered it heavily. It's been watered over the weekend with a little bit of rain and today it chucked it down earlier and it's come good. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna cut it with the rotary first just to take off some of this height because it is quite long, not been cut since Thursday and then I will go over it with the verticutter and then we'll go over it with the cylinder just to finish it off. So I'm going to try and put some double stripes in it today just to see how it looks. So we'll crack on with that. Uh, so let's go get our stuff out. Well, I can see walking over now. If you remember walking over after I'd first done it a couple of weeks, there was patches everywhere and you could see uh, the soil. But now it's lovely and thick. A few weeds knocking about actually. Uh, so we'll have to target those like those two though so these just need like digging out by hand again just laziness really so we're going to uh, sort those out at some point big uh, dandelion growing out there possibly could have been in the jack's magic um, but possibly was in there anyway but i don't like putting weed killers on lawns really especially in the summer just because it, it seems to knock them back and they don't like it and it just seems to uh, take a few weeks to recover from that so i try and just hand pick where i can uh, in the winter it's not so bad because the lawn's not looking great anyway, but in the summer I just like to uh, hand pick weeds out. So it's looking lovely and green. Let's go and get out. We've got the hair to out. I'm going to go on this on number three. Don't want to stress it out too much, it's not been cut for five days. And then we'll get on with the cylinder and bring the height of cut down that way, not causing them white tips. So uh, let's crack on. So I've got the cylinder there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to knock it down in height with the cylinder first and then we'll go on with the vertical to after. If I go on with the vertical to first, all we're going to do is, because it's still quite long, we're just going to flatten that grass down and when we're going with the cylinder layer, it's not going to pick back up. So we'll go on with the cylinder first, then the vertical to. If we need to, we'll go back on with the rotary and then we'll go on and give it a final polish with the cylinder just to get those stripes looking absolutely crisp. So 
it's there, ready to go. I've just lifted it up a little bit from the height of steers because this is a different type of grass. This is a full rye, whereas steers is a dwarf rye, so we can leave this a bit longer, uh, and that's what we do here. So, everything's going for us, weather's out. It's a shame the tree casts a big shadow like that, but when I film it from the other side, it'll be absolutely bob on, so let's crack on. Okay, okay, looking good. Time to go on with the verticutting attachment. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to do left to right like a mod and then up and down with it as well. So it's going to get a double verticut just to make those uh, squares as we cross over nice and crisp and bob on. And then when I film from down there, probably in a half an hour or so after we've done everything, it's going to look absolutely fantastic. And hopefully that sun will come out just at the right time to give us the uh, reflections on the back of our retinas, which is what happens when we get that, when we can see all the different colours in the time pattern. So come on, let's hope and pray, and let's hope we can do it. Right, so for those who've never seen the verticutting attachment before, just follow these sharp edged like stars. And what they do is they just slice through, and what they do is they kind of just touch the soil and rip through any stolons and rhizomes in a normal lawn perhaps, but these don't have any of those because ryegrass doesn't have either. It's just one plant, a one root system, and that's it. It doesn't grow from left to right. So in this one, all we're doing is thinning out just so we can make the lawn breathe. Right, okay, so we've just stared vertical this way. You can see the lines, everything's stood up, looking good. And what I'm gonna do is go up and down now, and then we should be looking even better. You can see that it's just looking still a bit quite long, so then we'll cut it shorter and really accentuate those stripes. So, looking forward. <laughs> OMG, OMG alert, looking mighty fine. So that's just vertical. So you can see now, I'll show you in more detail after, I'll have a walk over. And we'll see that now all the grasses are in line and stood up and pointing in the same direction. We're gonna make them stripes even more defined and that's how they do it in the professional uh, arena as well. That's how they do it. Every grass is pointing the same way, so it's all cut at the same height and everything like that. So let me just show you what we've actually took out of that lawn. Not as much as at Steve's, but we'd expect that because that's um, a year old. And I know this is old, but this has had a real load of new seed put in and it's obviously about six weeks behind Steve's. So we can see all that has come out of um, side, the side shoots. So we thinned it out going down the channels rather than taking off the top. None of this has been cut off the tops. So we've thinned out down the side. So imagine that analogy of the bus and everybody's stood up right, they're getting all sweaty because there's too many on. And now what we've done is we've removed a lot of people and now we can all breathe a lot easier. So that can only be a good thing. So yeah, sun's gone in, so you can see the stripes. I'll just have a walk over with you now. So you can see, of course, I've created a lot of grooves so the wind can blow through them, or blow through them even. It's like mini cornrows and everything's pointing in its own direction. So what we'll do is now, I'll go over left to right again with the rotary again, just to hoover up anything that's not picked up. Because there was as much came up this time, uh, the Alec was able to handle that and throw all that into the box. But because it's shooting forwards and it's only a very thin blade, it's not got the action to propel it into the back of the box like the Scarifine attachment has because that's got prongs and it can really grab it and be flung in 
and it seems to spin uh, a lot faster as well. So let's get on with that and then we'll go over it with a cylinder downhill like that way and we'll really get those strikes looking really crisp and maybe have some kind of moment after. Okay, so I've just cut left to right with the rotary just to pick anything up that was lurking around. There wasn't much. You can see now everything's pointing in the same direction. So what we'll do now is go up and down with the cylinder and these stripes are going to be crisp as. Are you ready for that? Oh yes! Oh come on, can you beat that? Can you beat it? If you can, I want to see it. Yes. Oh, this is what this is all about. All those days when we got no growth or things just don't go to plan. Just give it time. You can't rush it. Honestly, one thing I've learned, even though I was trying to rush it, I couldn't. And it takes time. But when it gets there, you get that. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I'm half tempted, you know, just to go and get one of Keith's ladders out and have a look at that. Look how crisp those stripes are. Look at that definition. And that's because of the vertical cutting. I've just, that is probably the best definition of stripe I have ever seen. And I've been cutting grass and vertical cutting grass for a long time. Oh, thank you, son, just for coming out at the right time. And there it is. Oh, beautiful. So if we have a walk over, you can see everything's just pointing in the same direction. Honestly, that is just absolutely epic. Oh my God, you get so emotional. It's just, there's just nothing else on earth like it. So, oh, I'm just gonna uh, go and get a ladder out and hopefully that sun can come back out and we can look at it from, uh, from a height and really get a good vantage point. So let's go and do it and please come out again. So we just look at the clouds now. Just got that cloud to move. Uh, and I think there should be another bit of sun coming out soon but yeah let's just have a look at it without sun still looks pretty good but when that whoa <laughs> that sleeper just moved out of the way oh <laughs> that's why <laughs> these things happen there's 250 on you've been framed so yeah look at that so it's not as good you know it doesn't look as uh it's not as good as uh, when it's the sun's out but it still looks pretty good so yeah, so let's go and get that ladder and wait for that sun to come out. Right, that's another video draws to an end. I've really enjoyed today. It's been a long time coming and finally we've got something that resembles a perfect lawn, although perfection is always a million miles away and I'll strive to get there even though this looks pretty good I think it could be better just a shame we couldn't put any galactic on today just because of the wind and I think then that would have elevated it to another level so all we're going to do now is continue to cut this lawn don't need to do much we've fed it it's had the Equinox HD it's had Stella it's had Grace it's had um, a wetting agent when we first did it it's probably due another dose of that so as soon as the weather turns and we can get some decent rain behind us we can get that on to take advantage of that but for now, I'm off to uh, Howard's in Charlotte to prepare for uh, the uh, prom night that they're having uh, this week. Uh, despite a few problems that we've had, uh, fingers crossed that we can get it back. I'll let you know more about that when we're there. But that'll be in another video, so make sure you check that one out. But for today, that's it, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>